Well, welcome back to the channel. <coughs> Thanks for joining me to uh, today. Uh, I'm on a little ride out. We're going to discuss main topic of the video today. Is we're going to discuss. Um, I, I mean, this is a great example of a bike to, uh, to you know, to do to base this video on it really because we're going to talk about what we do about winter storage of the, you know, this bike. If you decide not to ride the bike out, you know, through the through the winter and uh, some of the options that you can do and a, soft, a, a topic often discussed. So. Uh, we're going to jump on and have a little just little discussion. Hit the fire button. Lovely. Here we go. I love the sound of this bike. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. As we say here in Norfolk. Well, it's actually beautiful. <laughs> little bit of slippage on the rear tire there. <laughs> All that's for the fun of the CTM. But yeah, anyway, what what yeah, what we're going to talk about is generally what you can do with the bike, you know, through the winter months, especially this bike being a 600 single cylinder. Um, it's got a lithium battery on this bike as well, so you know the op you, you've got to look at the option of which what I do. I do. I t uh, this bike constantly remains on an optimizer. Uh, for the lift specifically for the lithium battery so it's got the battery management set, uh, setting on system on there as well on the on the optimizer um, so I leave this bike on that concept uh, continuously and I've not had any problems so it keeps the battery maintained um, if you do chuck this strap in here a little bit you know if you are considering of you know not going down that route and you actually ride ride out on the bike for the, for the occasional ride out, then yeah, you, you may not have to go down that optimizer route. But I'll be perfectly honest; uh, I don't really know why you wouldn't. To be fair, um, I have had bikes where I haven't used the optimizer, and you know the bikes have generally been okay. But I have had the occasional ride out on them. I mean, another thing you can do as well for winter storage. Sorry if I'm shouting a little bit, but um, it's very breezy. Yeah, another thing you can do, well, I'd recommend doing as well, would be to, uh, it's mud in the road again, is uh, fill, the fill the tank up with gas, the fuel. Um, I only run this bike on Super Unleaded, or the, I think it's E10, is it? The full, full, the, the full beam, so. Don't run it on anything else, as advised by uh, CCM. But you know the, the, the actual method of uh, winterizing your bike is it's pretty much the same for any machine, really. But some people say about yeah, start the bike up occasionally, you know, until the fan cuts in. Well, no, that's not really a very good thing to do. Uh, what, 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 what you can do in that situation is you can end up condensating the bike up. Uh, the bike, the engine is not actually getting that hot; it's just the cooling inside the. You know, the coolant, the coolant system. So um, I wouldn't advise doing that at all. But you know, uh, it's entirely up to up to the individual what you want to do. I mean, if if your bike's not stored in a garage or whatever, you may not have access to power, so you might not be able to plug your optimizer in. And and that's the main thing, really. Is you could another option. You what you can do is remove the battery. <laughs> remove the battery and uh, uh, you know put it somewhere it uh, maybe I don't know somewhere warmer <laughs> stay there you don't want to get squashed by CCM do you really another good thing to do really you could change the oil I mean luckily this has just been serviced so you could change your oil and filter beforehand so it's fresh oil but I, I wouldn't suggest what I wouldn't just like I've just said is just starting the bike up uh, you know so in your, in your garage especially um, even if it's in, you know, in a well ventilated area you just wouldn't recommend doing it what we got in front of us here today the white van every time I go out on the machine there's always a white van <laughs> we've actually got a postal strike on here at the moment so royal mail yeah, we've got lots of these white vans 
rattling about uh, delivering the Christmas prezzies. So yeah, that's another thing I'll touch on in this video actually. Uh, it's uh, we're not we're getting quite close to Christmas, so um, I don't know if I'm going to get any more review bike reviews in before then. We might I might do I might be able to squeeze some in, but um, have a happy Christmas anyway and uh, happy New Year. And I can't believe how quick this year has gone. It's absolutely flown by. Absolutely flown by. But I'm diverse anyway. So yeah, uh, just a few little tips really on tucking your bike away. Just give it the once over. Um, ready for the, you know, and then, 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 then you want to make sure it's ready for the summer. Without any issues. But the main thing that I'd like to say is don't don't be starting your bike up just just in the in the garage. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Little bit of slippage again from that rear. The roads are ever so cold today. It's so cold out here today. Stay there. I'm going around here. <laughs> but so far, I'm absolutely loving this bike. So I've got no real, um, no real gripes. Big plane coming in to land up there. I'm right near uh, Norwich Airport here. So you often see. Uh, planes they look like they're uh, <laughs> a bit low but there there's a there's an airport just over there <laughs> but yeah if you are new to the channel consider subscribing plenty more bike content coming to the channel don't just do bike reviews uh, i do ride outs and other videos take a look it'd be great to have you along um, Yeah. This bike just wants to go. She's uh, like I say, they, you can actually they do a stage one map for this bike, so might be something I'd look into maybe in the future. But we'll see. We'll see. I think I think the power power really is uh, is absolutely ample for this sort of style of bike. And uh, yeah. Oh, just a few little tips there about winter winter storage of your bike and uh, take care hopefully i'll see you on the next video take care see you soon <laughs>